morning. Uh, sorry to get you up early this morning, uh, but my fl flight was cancelled yesterday. I was supposed to speak yesterday. But I hope I can make it interesting and worthwhile for you to get up early in the morning. I'm going to talk about the disruption uh, that mobile is causing the publishing industry. Uh, I have 25 minutes and 25 slides, so I'm going to run you very fast through uh, my perspective on this. Um, Basically, what I will do is I will obviously first try to establish some of the uh, key trends. Uh, then I'm going to look at kind of the mobile first uh, screen and media, what it means for us as publishers, and how publishers and in particular news organizations are, are trying to work around this. So obviously, one of the things that you know we are the uh, Mobile World Congress. One of the things that is very interesting to see is the, the huge shift that's happened to media consumption and, and how people are using the different devices. And as you can see up here, you know, people are consuming more than 10 hours of media every day. The interesting uh, thing here is, of course, the huge shift and growth that you're seeing in mobile. 63% uh, is the yearly growth that we've seen in mobile, and it's obviously starting to have uh, be a significant part of the everyday media consumption. Uh, other things that you're seeing here is, of course, the more traditional media uh, is losing out. Um, so the shift is and the move is definitely moving towards uh, towards the mobile. Um, another thing that's interesting is that over the last five years, you know, five years ago as a publisher, you didn't really talk about mobile. Mobile wasn't really uh, something that uh, we paid a lot of attention to. Um, the audience was quite small, the screens and devices wasn't that interesting. So uh, over the last five years, that's obviously significantly changed. Uh, mobile is now more, for most publishers, more than 50% uh, of the audience is coming to them by mobile devices. Uh, and that is actually the same for us at HuffPost. A little bit more than 50% of our audience is now coming to us via mobile devices. And just 18 months ago, that number was 20% for HuffPost. So over the last 18 months, our business has had a transformational change. It, it's basically a very, very different business when suddenly the majority of your audience is coming to you via mobile devices. Um, Obviously, you know, what does it mean? It means that a lot of people is paying a lot of attention, including us, as to what are the functionality, what are the things that we need to put on, on those devices, on those screens. Um, good for us is that still a lot of what people do on the mobile is watching news and entertainment, but as there's a lot of utilities, a lot of services like Uber, Yelp, Instagram, there's a lot of other things out there that is coming on and, and adding value to the mobile ecosystem from a content uh, and app perspective. Another thing that's happening is obviously uh, there's a new generation growing up, and this generation uh, basically can't live without their uh, smartphone. Uh, this is uh, some of the things you would uh, hear from uh, millennials when, uh, when they talk about the smartphone, you know, that you know, they, it never leaves their side. It's the first thing they do every day. So not only is this change happening, also the next generation, the generation that are coming after us, you know, this is basically how uh, they're communicating. This is how they're keeping themselves updated. This is how they're consuming content. So obviously that's just going to accelerate the trend that we saw just a second ago. Um, what we're also seeing is that over the, or, or predicting is that over the next uh, four years, three years, uh, we're going to see another billion uh, users added uh, to, uh, to the mobile consumption, which again, for us as a publisher that are building a global audience, is of course very, very interesting. Uh, we have just launched in India, uh, where right now there are 250 million that have smartphone devices. But obviously, there is more than a billion people, and uh, very fast, that's going to that's gonna grow, which obviously will, will allow us to have a much bigger audience to, uh, to aim at. At the same time, uh, obviously, 
Um, what's, what's also happening on the mobile side is that new formats is kicking in. Video is becoming increasingly important. And with video, obviously, if you want video on mobile devices, we need uh, higher speed, we need better connectivity. And obviously, that's why uh, the second chart up here is important. You know, it's important that actually we're rolling out and seeing uh, uh, higher speed. What does this mean for, uh, for media, that mobile is uh, uh, the, the first screen? Uh, one of the things that, uh, that has happened uh, over, again, the last 10 years is really, you know, the big shift first from, uh, from print to internet uh, was a huge shift. It allowed uh, businesses like HuffPost uh, to, um, uh, to grow and prosper. HuffPost wasn't uh, around uh, 10 years ago. Uh, we are actually coming up to our 10-year anniversary in May. Uh, so it's quite interesting to see that this shift from, from print to online has happened over that period of time. What's even more interesting is how fast the shift ha has happened from internet to mobile. Uh, that shift has happened much faster, and, and now we're at a point in time where uh, mobile, for the first time, have e eclipsed uh, the value um, and the consumption uh, of content uh, across all devices, acro across all media. At, at HuffPost, we're seeing these changes in real time, obviously. We have a huge audience that obviously is following the trends that we're seeing in the market around us. It means that, you know, obviously our mobile audience has increased over the last year significantly. It also means, as I said before, in terms of mobile engagement, in terms of on the, the pages people are watching, reading, the content they're consuming, you know, has increased tremendously. The, the, the thing that is lagging behind right now, which is a problem for the publisher, is that monetization uh, normally is an issue. I'm, I'm com coming back to that in a second. We've still seen a huge growth, but it's growth uh, from, uh, from a very low base, which is why the number looks very high. But still, it's nowhere near what you're seeing on, uh, on the desktop. So there's still a huge challenge when it comes to how do you monetize this audience that has now moved on to mobile. Um, Mobile and desktop uh, audiences are still growing on both. Uh, so from a publisher perspective, that's obviously great. We're still seeing growth ac uh, across uh, both platforms. But we're also seeing now that it's slowing down. We're seeing that uh, mobile is really what's, uh, what's, what's kicking in here, what's, what's carrying the growth. Uh, um, desktop over uh, the course of the coming years will slow down and will start to decrease in terms of uh, its value, in terms of the size of it. So mobile uh, is really uh, the first screen now, and as such, uh, something as a publisher we need to pay huge attention to. Um, another thing that uh, is, is, is happening is, uh, of course, um, the growth in terms of uh, the consumption. So even though we have audience growth on the desktop, in terms of consumption, the consumption of, uh, of articles, the consumption of content is actually already declining on the desktop. Whereas on mobile, you both have audience growth and you have, um, you have um, content growth, PV growth, uh, page views growth. Um, another thing that is, uh, that is happening, as you can see up here, uh, is that um, even though overall PVs uh, are flat uh, across the devices, you know, you can see that it's really mobile right now that is carrying the growth for us as publishers. Mobile is, is, is where uh, people are, it's where they're consuming, and desktop is, as you can see, very fast uh, actually becoming less important. So what, uh, what does this mean in terms of uh, page views? It, it, it basically means that uh, for not only HuffPost, but for the biggest publishers in the industry, it basically means that the majority of, of the growth that we are seeing is on mo mobile, and it's significant, right? It's 40% year over year uh, that it's uh, grown in terms of, uh, in terms of the content uh, consumed. Um, and as I said before, uh, the biggest challenge for the publishers right now is that even though we're seeing this huge audience, we're seeing a um, huge opportunity here, um, right now the way it's monetized is not up to par with what we're seeing on desktop. So from a selfish perspective, obviously, we want to keep as many people on the desktop for now as possible because the, the audience we have on the desktop is monetized 
almost uh, twice as well as it is on the mobile. So this is, again, this is an industry problem. It's something that over time, I'm sure, we will be able to fix. But right now, um, this is uh, one of the biggest challenges with this huge shift that we're seeing. Another challenge that I think is important to understand is where is the traffic coming from? So when people consume your content, where are they coming from? Are they just going directly to uh, your news site on the mobile? Uh, are they coming via other places? Are they searching for it? Um, and, and here you can actually see uh, the latest uh, breakdown um, across uh, HuffPost, kind of where our traffic is coming from. So social suddenly, uh, social has always been important, but social on mobile is even more important. So that actually means that you need to really think about how can you create an ecosystem where your content lives not only on your site, but lives across social platforms. Um, so it, again, a very, very different approach to uh, what you normally do uh, as, as a publisher, where you want to make sure you have a strong presence on your platform. Um, and also, you know, so, so social is, is, is happening. That's one of the implications of mobile. Another thing that is happening is um, the amount of pages that people are viewing uh, when they go onto your site via a mobile device versus via uh, the desktop. So people are basically looking at fewer pages. And again, uh, that might not be a problem if you don't have to make money. But if you do have to make money, it's very nice when they look at a lot of pages. Uh, so again, it's a challenge. It's something that you have to, uh, that you have to think about. How does news organization and HuffPost uh, think about these things? Uh, how will we have to change the way we do business? Um, some of the key challenges I've already talked on is about the audience engagement. Um, I'm going to uh, address this in a second. Then also, the second one, of course, uh, as I said, if you're in the business of, of actually staying in business, you obviously need to find out how do you monetize uh, this new audience, uh, how, is, how are you going to stay relevant. And um, it's quite interesting, because when we talk about mobile, there's been a lot of different opinions out there, people discussing whether apps is the better way to go, or whether it's the mobile web. Um, and and there is basically these two, uh, two uh, ways of doing it. And, and I think, from my perspective, it's not an either or. Uh, it's two very, very different approaches. And it's two very, very different things that, they, that you will achieve by doing it. So when it comes to the native apps, the reason why I, as a publisher, like the native app is that if we can get people to download our native app, uh, not only are they much more engaged, on average, they consume 11 times more content than the people that are coming to us by mobile web. Why is that? It's obviously because the app environment, the app experience, it's a much more controlled experience. It's something that where we can deliver something that is much more targeted at the user. And on top of that, the people that have decided actively to download your app, obviously, you would imagine are uh, more engaged. They're, uh, they're ambassadors to your brand. So, uh, so it's quite interesting to see right now how this is playing out. Uh, right now, the apps is actually uh, both at HuffPost and, and uh, in the industry as such. The apps is the smaller part of, of the audience. But in terms of, as you can see up here, in terms of the average monthly engagement, the amount of time that uh, people spend on it. And this is, these numbers are not HuffPost numbers. These are across the five biggest uh, online news sites per Comscore. Uh, so, uh, so as you can see, the average monthly engagement here is almost on par, even though the audience, the size of the audience is 13 times bigger on mobile web, but they consume the same. I think that is, that is a quite, quite important uh, point, uh, because obviously that should lead you to think about how you work with your app environment and, of course, also what it is you're doing with mobile web. As I said, for me, it's not an either or, because right now, obviously, you have a huge audience that have decided not to download your app, so you need to find a way from that. But obviously, uh, at HuffPost, uh, the most important thing for us is how do we migrate people that are on mobile web onto the app? Because as soon as they get on the app, they consume a lot more content, they stay longer, they're more engaged. Uh, so from my perspective, that is, that is definitely something that we're focusing uh, a lot on. 
So how do we do that? Uh, you know, and again, uh, you looked at industry numbers uh, before. These are HuffPost numbers. So again, uh, in terms of the size of our app audience is quite small. Uh, but in terms of uh, the visits per, per UVs, again, our numbers are 12 times higher. And uh, PVs per visits, the app is three times higher than when they come via mobile web or desktop. So, uh, so obviously, uh, uh, the app uh, is an experience that when people actually get in front of it, when they download it, when they use it, uh, it's a much more engaged experience. Again, uh, not only HuffPost, everyone have their own uh, ecosystem of apps. We do, uh, New York Times does, BuzzFeed does. Um, so it, it's, it's not, again, it's not really whether it's an either or, it's just how do you approach it and, and why does it make sense to have app, apps out there. Uh, and another reason why it makes sense, not only because uh, the audience is between uh, 11 and, uh, and 13 times bigger uh, when it comes to the content uh, consumption, also uh, in terms of time spent, as you can see, news apps is actually the area that's growing the fastest by app if you look at the different categories, even, even faster than music apps and games apps. Um, so there's definitely um, um, a call here for people that are in the news business to make sure they have some great apps out there because a lot of consumption is coming through that. Why is, why is mobile uh, um, important for news uh, publishers? I think it's not only important for news publishers, it's, it's important full stop. It's the f you know, we've talked about mobile being the second screen for a long time. It's, it's not the second screen, it's the first screen. And as you can see here across instant messaging platforms, social media platforms, uh, some of them uh, already by now have almost 100% of their audience coming via mobile devices, especially if they're targeted to a young audience, uh, which of course uh, part of the business we have is. Um, so, so that's obviously also why it's important. Um, I think the next frontier really is the instant messaging uh, platforms. Uh, for me, those, uh, those platforms are really becoming uh, the portals of, of, of this century where and, uh, um, in the 90s, it was the Yahoo's, the Wells that uh, allowed people to get access to, uh, to content and, and the internet. Uh, now, it, it's really about, from my perspective, the instant uh, messaging platforms and how they become ecosystems. I've just uh, lately spent quite a bit of time in China because we are looking at launching our business out there and I've been uh, quite uh, impressed by how WeChat is much more than an instant messaging platform out there. It's a whole ecosystem, you can do commerce, there's a lot of things going out there uh, that we haven't really seen in, uh, in the western part of the world yet, but they're very sophisticated when it comes to these things and it really reminds me of where we were with the portals in the 90s and, and how they're able to, uh, to give a big audience access to a lot of um, relevant services. When it comes to uh, you know mobile and and uh, social in particular, uh, you know the design obviously becomes very important. You really have to think about how you design uh, your your screen. It, you know, luckily uh, for us as publishers, the screens are getting bigger and bigger. But still, uh, you know how you increase engagement is is is, is very very uh, important. And uh, to that end, uh, responsive social referral is important. Atom autonomized content sharing, you know, you really have to think about these things. You have to make it easy for people to share it if you want them to show up in uh, social, uh, social results, in social searches, uh, and on social platforms. So design becomes super important. And last but not least, technology, obviously, so you can create much better uh, passive uh, personalization, much better experiences for your audience, becomes very, very important when, it, when, when you want to succeed on the mobile. In terms of monetization, as I said before, um, you know, that is obviously as a publisher an important thing. Uh, right now on mobile, even though 12% uh, uh, of the audience is there, only 3% of the money is flowing into mobile right now. And that's obviously not sustainable. That will change because if that's not changing, the advertisers are not spending money where the eyeballs are. So eventually the money will, sh will shift and will come into mobile. Uh, it, it's always, there's always a lag. It always takes time when, when new platforms, new formats uh, comes around. But we're confident it will happen. As I said on HuffPost, you know, we have seen huge growth across 
um, across impression sold, sell through rates, CPMs. So we're very confident that it will get there. But, but as I said, it's still, it's still from a low base. So it will take time to get on par with where desktop is. One of the reasons for that um, is uh, the devices. Uh, I think, you know, obviously with the iPhone 6 and iPhone 6 Plus, suddenly you have much better screens that delivers better experiences, both from a content and advertising perspective. And also, we need new formats. The, the banner on mobile is just not working. We need video, we need rich media, we need uh, native solutions that will create higher CPMs, better experiences, because otherwise advertisers are not going to buy it and consumers are not going to engage with it. Uh, to spend time trying to close a banner on your mobile phone is one of the most annoying things that uh, I think you can ever come across. Um, so the shift to, uh, to mobile, um, Four times better click-through rate on mobile versus banner ads when we talk uh, native advertising, uh, which is in-stream. Uh, so much, much more effective engagement. Um, rise of social, as I said, you know, it's, it's very important to kind of create this sharing uh, component, uh, both when it comes to your content and when it comes to how you do advertising. So those things uh, uh, are key. Um, I'm getting, uh, I'm speeding up here because I'm getting to an end. Uh, but I think it's, it's all about execution capabilities, contextual ad targeting, mobile programmatic inventory is going to be important. Um, the good thing is estimates uh, ex expect that we we're going to have 25% higher uh, CPMs over, the, over uh, the next year. So that's good news. Um, and um, it's, it's a very promising year, I think. Uh, if you understand these trends, if you understand where the audience is going, I think it's, it's very, very exciting to be a publisher out there, but you need to take it very, very serious. Uh, mobile is not desktop. Mobile is something totally new, totally different. You need to design it in a different way. You need to put your content up in a different way, and you need to monetize it in a different way. And I think that's really it for me today. Thank you very much. Thank you for coming.